everybody, it's Christy. I am joining you today from our new home. Um, thank you for being patient with me while we packed up the old house, moved into this house. I was uh, traveling for a week for work and unable to make some videos. So thank you for your patience and I'm excited to get back to record this video for you today. I was just trying to decide what kind of video I wanted to make today and uh, then I looked down at my nails and I decided that I probably should talk about hangnails and cuticles being dry in the winter and flaky and really just having a problem in general with um, overall care and maintenance of my cuticles. There's a routine that I typically go through when I'm all settled and in a normal routine for the last couple of weeks I have not been doing my normal routine for my cuticle care just because we were moving and unpacking and there was so much going on that it just fell by the wayside. I want to get back on that routine because I'll show you my cuticles are in pretty rough shape but to get them back into shape and then to keep them healthy here are some tips that you could use moving forward as well. The first thing that I like to keep in my purse is the Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. This cuticle cream is probably the best one that I've ever been able to use. And this is a tinier size. They make a, the normal size is a larger container. I prefer to have smaller sized items, especially when I travel for work. These fit better in the bag, it's less to carry. Uh, but I also find that, um, I don't know if it's the part of the country that I'm in, but a lot of my products dry out pretty quickly. I, I seal them, I do you know what I need to do to keep them keep them from drying out but it seems like sometimes they dry out pretty quickly so I like getting the smaller sizes so that that doesn't happen as fast. I just take my finger in there, rub some in and then I just rub that over um, the top of my top of my cuticles and I like to do that when I put lotion on my hands when I really when I think about it because this one stays in my purse so whenever I think about adding cuticle cream to my hands this is what I often reach for and it does smell like lemons, which I really like. It's really fresh and refreshing. At night, when I go through washing my face, taking my makeup off, uh, once I get done with all of that, my hands are a little dry because I've had them in the water and I've washed them. So one of the steps that I like to do when I'm putting my lotion on my hands at night is to include a cuticle oil on my nails as well. The one that I really like is the CND Essential Solar Oil. And this I found at um, Ulta, but this is my favorite cuticle oil, and it's just a typical nail, um, nail polish style, where it's just got the nail polish type brush and the oils in the jar. You can just literally paint it on your cuticles, and once you've done that, then sometimes I d get a little bit more for these drier nails. Once you paint it on, can't get the cat back on. <laughs> Once you paint it on, then I just kind of rub it into those cuticles one by one so that they really uh, get that soaking into, into the cuticle themselves. So, and it does smell like um, almond. Uh, it smells like the almond extract, and I happen to love that smell. I love that smell with Jergens Body Lotion. For example, they've got a cherry almond scent to it, but I really like that solar oil a lot for the smell, it reminds me of a pastime of mine, uh, but it also works very, very well. Even just putting it on now, my cuticles look a lot better. The other big thing to keep my cuticles healthy is to keep my hands moisturized. Anytime I wash my hands, anytime I'm out in the cold or I come back in, uh, when I get out of the shower, anytime I'm washing my face and then I'm, you know, my hands are in the water again, I often feel the need to rehydrate my hands. My hands seem to be the part of me that dries out the quickest. Container of lotion at the kitchen sink so when I'm doing dishes and things like that, I can wash my hands really quickly thereafter. I also keep lotion in my purse and I keep lotion in my night routine when I'm taking my makeup off and going through that, that whole process as well. So in my purse, oftentimes what I keep is this Nivea cream. Um, these come in little tiny tins and again when I travel for work these are very convenient because I just slip them in a bag they're not bulky they don't take up a lot of room this isn't my favorite 
moisturizer, however, because it does leave my skin a little greasy, which I don't like. So when I apply this, I have to make sure that I have time to sit and let it soak in for a few minutes and get that greasiness away, and then it's fine. But for the ease of traveling, I really do like these little containers by Nivea. Currently in my medicine cabinet, what I'm using right now on my hands and my body is the Aveeno Positive Nourishing Calming Lotion, um, and the scent is lavender and chamomile. Pretty much any lotion that you have obviously will work for your hands. Some people prefer like Soap and Glory, uh, Jergens. There's the Aveeno brand, Lubriderm. It really just depends on what your kind of personal favorite is. But I find when I make sure that my hands are moisturized and replenished, that I get fewer hangnails and my cuticles are in generally better shape. So that's a, another tip for you as well. Recently, my sister got me a packet of Lush products as a gift, thanking me, I believe it was for watching her puppy, um, one trip that they took down to Denver. And in that packet, there was a body butter. I have had Lush body butters before, but I really didn't get the concept. I really didn't understand. So the body butter, I don't even know which one I have. I keep it in a little bowl. This one is my little cute owl bowl. It's actually a kitchen bowl, but I needed something tiny enough and cute to put in, um, in my bathroom. This body bar is just what it says. It's just a bar of oils and lotiony products. Um, and when you touch it, when your skin touches it, you, the warmth of your hand melts the product onto your skin. So right now I can feel it on my, on my fingertips of both hands just from touching this product. What I've been doing with this is when I get out of the shower, instead of using a body lotion all over, I actually just drag this sucker um, across my skin and then I just rub it in and I don't find the need to put any kind of a lotion on the rest of the day, which is pretty amazing considering I lotion my hands so frequently. So what I've also been using this for is to help my cuticles. And sometimes I'll just take it across the edge of my nail where my cuticles are, get some of that body butter on those cuticles, and then I'll just take them and again, work that into the cuticle itself just to help repair it. If I don't have any of those products on hand, if I don't have my solar oil, um, or if I don't have my Burt's Bees, for example, in my purse, I will oftentimes reach for my uh, chapstick that I currently have. This just happens to be the Nivea A Kiss of um, Olive Oil and Lemon. But I just reach for this, and sometimes when I don't have anything else to put on there, but my cuticles are really peeling or chipped or need some help, I'll just take the end of my, um, my chapstick and I'll just run it along my cuticles and rub it in, just like I've been using all the other products. But in a pinch, use your chapstick. That can really help um, soften up those areas as well and help that, that chipping and peeling that's happening because it can be really painful when that does happen. Lastly, I just wanted to point out to you guys the color of nail polish that I have on my hands right now is my favorite Christmas time polish. I looked earlier today and you can still get this color on Amazon from a couple of different sources, but it is OPI Nail Lacquer in Crimson Carol. And it is just a really fun reddish pinkish color. Um, in the bottle, it appears that there's a little bit more gold glitter than, I guess you see it on the, I see it on the nail, but I don't oftentimes look at it or pick that up. So, um, Crimson Carol, that is my favorite holiday time, uh, nail polish color. So go ahead and check that out if you like it as well. Thank you guys for, so much for taking the opportunity to watch. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up this video if you like it, if you want to see more content about quick tips and tricks. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.